Hello everyone, this is Bacholi with Archeon. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about propellers. So the game has uh, great propellers implemented and they are fully configurable. So this example, uh, this is an X extra 300 plane. It's available in the workshop to download and try out. It's built, uh, built fully uh, in the game like all the, uh, like everything basically. All the vehicles are built completely in the game. So you can aim at the prop and hit V and then you get this configuration window here, right? So you can change things like the radius, number of blades, the twist, and the width, right? And these all affect how they perform, right? And depending on where you're flying them, right? Uh, depending on the air density or water like if if you want something that's good for water you're gonna have uh, you're gonna want a large uh, twist a small radius uh, and uh, three or four blades right if you want something for air you're gonna have uh, you're gonna want less of a, of a twist uh, maybe three blades maybe four depending on how much torque you want but they're gonna have more inertia and you can play around with the radius to get the optimal performance based on the speed that your aircraft is going. And you can also vary the, uh, the pitch. Uh, in addition to the twist, you can vary the pitch with a data port, right? So you can control that from uh, your computer in the game, uh, or from, uh, uh, you know, depending on the, on the kind of flight that you're doing, right? So this is an example on a plane. The game actually simulates uh, full aerodynamics with the propellers, uh, including ground effect and airflow through the props. And uh, also it, it will simulate uh, gyroscopic precession and induced torque. All that is simulated. So it will be very, very realistic uh, the way these things fly, right? So this, this engine, and prop is actually very powerful for the size of this aircraft so if you just sit on it and try to hit full power right away the induced torque will make the plane roll uh, and the wing might touch the ground right so you need to go gentle with the throttle in this one right next up we have um, here a, a small uh, uh, I, I call it easy copter because I mean it, this doesn't really exist in real life but I mean it's it flies very well uh, they, it's simulated uh, realistically enough that uh, if this thing were to be built in real life it would pretty much fly the same way and these props here in this example are mounted on hinges so if I go ahead and sit on it uh, we can see there if uh, I try to yaw they move like this right? so this is how I configured it in the uh, computer uh, on this aircraft if I try to pitch do that right? so if I go forward backward so this is yaw and for roll I actually tilt the pitch of the blades like this right so this is roll left this is roll right and they will turn in opposite directions, right? It's configured to turn opposite directions. If I start the throttle just a bit, give it a small, uh, small hit like that, you see how they turn, right? So they, uh, they're they turned opposite direction so that they cancel out their uh, gyroscopic precession and induced torque. And then if you roll, they will uh, increase the pitch of one and decrease the other, right? Like this. Right, so that it can actually uh, uh, it increases the angle of attack of the blades, and it makes it um, makes it increases the uh, the airflow, uh, the, uh, the thrust that they produce. Right. So, so yeah, you, you have a lot of flexibility with these things. Um, and here we have a quadcopter. This is a very basic uh, standard racing quadcopter, like you would have in real life. Um, and it flies the exact same way as the uh, the ones that uh, you know the small quadcopters. Uh, basically, it uses the induced torque uh, to uh, you know for for controlling the yaw. So these are crossed in that in the way they are uh, uh, they rotate right. So the the ones in diagonal from the, the other will rotate the same direction but the opposite direction of the one next to them right so this is the same way they're configured in real life and this made it makes it possible to use uh, induced torque for the yaw basically you're going to accelerate 
these two, it's going to yaw in one direction. If you do the opposite, you accelerate these two here, it will yaw in the other direction. Right? And as for the uh, pitch and roll, uh, it's simply the, the pitch of the blades, you know, that the blades will, will tilt uh, to increase power on some of them um, to make it pitch and roll. And the throttle will control uh, the speed, and it'll also it will the throttle will also control the uh, the pitch of the blades in this particular one that I built. Right, this is a bigger quadcopter. It's actually it weighs three tons. Right, it's a mining quadcopter. It's used for mining operation in the game in adventure mode. So this one was built completely in adventure mode, and uh, it's quite well equipped. Um, and it flies very fast. It's also mounted on hinges so that these uh, will actually pivot forward uh, for forward thrust uh, when you want to go fast, right? So again, all of these things available in the Steam Workshop uh, to try it out, right? Uh, so, uh, so yeah, I mean, go, go ahead and try them out. Uh, recommend a joystick, right? <laughs> They're, they fly realistically, right? So. Uh, they might be difficult for beginners, but uh, still quite fun nonetheless. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next one.